So, going to replace the servo motor right here. Let me see if I can get it done and walk you through the process that might help you in the future if you will be tackling the job yourself. Uh, first thing that it says is to release the oil spray nozzle, which will be this one here. Uh, it's going to be E8 inverted socket. Let's go ahead and, uh, and undo this one. So now that I have unscrewed the inverted E8, remove the screw and lift it up like this and remove it. Let's place it to the side. So when the servo motor is quite so still functioning, uh, when you turn off your engine, the eccentric sh shaft uh, will be uh, in maximum stroke position, which it is right now. You can see that this piece here is actually sitting on the maximum uh, position. So we're gonna use a hexagon four millimeter and we'll be turning this to the middle position. As you see, this one is coming up. Halfway in should be somewhere, somewhere here. So now we're halfway open. So we're gonna be holding, keeping this one here, uh, locking this one up somehow, and we go from there. Since I'm doing the work alone, uh, I did put the gear to the middle. You can see it's in the middle position. This piece here was sitting on the maximum position before. Now it's centered. We're going to, yeah, I'm supporting the whole thing because it's spring loaded and can bounce back on you. In the end here is a place to position your wrench to hold this thing that's my little helper here block of wood it's not secure but hopefully it will do for me today uh, if you have someone to hold it please have them hold it so it's more safer for you now we, what we're gonna go ahead and do is use it 11 millimeter socket here remove the minimum position of the shaft and we go from there use the 11 millimeter socket we have the minimum stroke stop uh, removed now we're gonna go ahead and use our four millimeter hex here and our open uh, spanner right there and lower it turn it down so this piece here comes all the way to the minimum boom so using the hex a four millimeter hex and uh, open uh, end spanner uh, I have managed to get it so low that the gear is not touching it, the teeth anymore of the servo motor. So now I'm going to turn it another 90 degrees. I'm gonna put back the minimum uh, stroke stop to lock it on place so it doesn't go anywhere. And then we're going to uh, going to remove this uh, servo motor there. So. I went ahead and installed the um, minimum stroke stop here again. You can see the whole thing is nicely locked between the maximum and the minimum one. T30, uh, uh, three uh, bolts right here, one, two, third one down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my magnet, old school magnet. Come on, okay, there it comes. First one, put it on the side. Let's make sure all the other ones are nice and loose. Okay, this now, and this one as well. Remove the other two. Okay, come on. There they come. All three removed now we're gonna go ahead and turn this one uh, clockwise okay let's go ahead and remove this gasket from here for now turn it, turn it clockwise up and slides out just like this let's go ahead and install the new servo motor so here is my replacement part uh, that I purchased of eBay seems to be original BMW part 
was shipped quite quick, probably for four business days. It did come from Turkey though, but DHL Express did a pretty quick job on it for the, with delivering it. So I have matched the holes, screwed the three T30s back in there. New servo motor is installed. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the minimum uh, stroke stop here. Make sure you're gonna be holding this one while you're undoing that one since it's probably gonna kick back and then we nice and easy gonna move the lever down to engage with the gear here then we're gonna go ahead and also install our hex right there right there and bring it back to my maximum uh, stroke position minimum stroke position removed we're slowly bringing it back here to uh, touch the gear now I'm gonna need my both hands and I'm gonna use the spanner here and the hex here make sure you have somebody holding the uh, spanner at all times so you don't get any injuries so I have successfully moved it back to its uh, maximum position on that stopper here uh, it don't have any tension uh, on it once it's on the maximum position it takes the load off from it uh, so we can go ahead and remove this hex I remo removed the open end spanner already one thing that I uh, can tell you is that you have to adjust your spanner while you're uh, coming from the uh, minimum to the maximum because you don't have all that room so you want to go ahead and hold it with the hex adjust your wrench and keep going till you get to the maximum position again last piece here let's put back the oil spray nozzle as, as we before we removed it we lifted it up like this now we're gonna go ahead and do it reverse push it right back in between here that will be lubricating the servo gear right here so that in place let's go ahead and put back the E8 right here and let's go ahead and clean uh, up the surfaces here and um, that should be all the servo motor is installed uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the injectors back and uh, cover right here and uh, reset the settings and hope everything is good this video is obviously for information purposes only uh, I'm not saying that all the information from in this video or these videos that I'm making is correct and the proper way to do it but if you find something useful in my videos go ahead and hit like and subscribe I was actually quoted $340 to do this job in an independent uh, European shop so $340 that I won with doing that job just spent $33 on the injector puller tool so that's plus the part $220 something so I'm saving $340 actually $300 uh, by doing the work myself since we did change the Valvetronic servo motor we had to teach in the progress Stop engine, switch and OK, adjustment, not deleted. OK, turn them on. Turn the ignition off, turn it back on, continue. Turn on the car. The car is idling. The car is running rough. 
getting it dot in. You can see how oh, my idol is jumping right now. So I can feel it. So the procedure is 450 cycles long. I ain't gonna be doing the video for 450 cycles. Let me pause this. And once it's done, we go move forward. Almost done with the teaching process. Okay. Fifty trouble free intake successfully completed. Turn off the car. Ignition in. Continue. We should be good now. Idle is good. Let's see what our check engine stands for. Okay, we used to have a code for uh, Valtronic deactivated with the old one uh, before the teaching process. I probably have a picture in my phone, so I will list it in the video as well. Now that we have removed the Valtronic, or actually replaced the Valtronic uh, servo motor and uh, done the teaching process, this code is gone. It was permanent like this one is and not only code that we have that illuminates the check engine light is the differential pressure sensor so we're gonna take care of this one as well thank you for watching